to share a little bit of a story with you um, about anger and about how it penetrates us in our deepest relationships, even after we have left situations like that. And sometimes our spouse or our loved ones don't understand why we're angry if we grew up in an angry household. So that's what I'm gonna pretty much tackle today. And it's because I grew up in that type of a household. I had a dad that was very much a driving personality. Um, I was a highly emotional person where he was a highly uh, driven person with low emotion. If you know, understand personalities, he was like a bull personality. My stepmom was a highly analytical personality. So she was a high owl. And um, together they were very, not emotional, but very expressive as far as anger goes. So they had very strong opinions. So growing up in that household, if I voiced an opinion or I showed emotion, sometimes I'd get yelled at. It was just how they conversed, it was how I grew up. So when I entered a relationship with a female and I, I had trouble in my first couple relationships that I was in, was wondering why I had so many problems. I was married for eight years, that fell apart. And you know, pretty soon there's a common denominator to the situation and uh, that was me. <laughs> so I had to understand what I was doing in order to change that. And I had no idea. I would, I would blow up and when I would blow up, it would be, um, it would be over stupid things. And to this day, it's still a challenge because it's part of my demeanor. I grew up in a very strong household. And, you know, two things make us, it's our personality that we're born with and also our environment. So growing up in these, in this, in this environment, it was very different when I would date somebody who didn't come from that kind of environment where their parents talked about everything. You know, they talk things through. I didn't know talking things, like I would yell and they'd be like, why are you yelling? And I really wasn't yelling. I mean, I was just expressing myself very sternly, but I was expressing myself. So it was very interesting to start to realize that, you know, what I grew up in and what was real, um, you know, as far as for other people, it wasn't even close. So some scenarios that I that I had my dad and stepmom, they would just they would argue about like crazy things, like stupid things. They'd be gone on vacation, they'd be arguing about how, you know, one time we ran out of gas and they were fighting over who, you know, ran it out of gas. It didn't matter, we were out of gas, and instead of just kind of talking it through, they kind of just you know, they light each other up. So it was very interesting. So now years later, looking back and, you know, I've coached people in relationships, especially with these anger issues. Um, it's been very interesting that we'll carry on with us from our ancestors, from the way that we are raised, we're going to carry this stuff into our relationships. And unless we have self-awareness about it, we're not even going to realize that we're doing it. So finally, one day I, I was at, um, I was in an event and I had a huge breakthrough and and I started to understand the other people that were across from me. And I started to listen more than I did yell. And it really started to heal it. And you know, it was a lot of baggage that I had brought. And once I realized that it was a cinder block, right? I'm carrying around a cinder block that I didn't need to carry anymore. And I realized that I could drop it. I didn't have to carry it anymore. So now coming from a place of love, and now that's one of our things that we always say, you know, and something that I have learned from my mentors is um, coming from a place of love. And when you start to come from a place of love, you start to handle the situation so much differently, you know? And this is your shipmate, this is your partner, man. And you know, if you destroy that, you're destroying everything that's close to you. And then you feel regret and you feel guilty about it. But here's the thing, if you don't make any changes to get to the next level, you're gonna to continue to do this uh, destructive behavior and you know, you're just gonna say relationships don't work or you know, relationships aren't for me. And we'll start to actually start to tell stories and stack things to where we actually start to believe that that's the reality. When the reality is, it's just your point of view, it's just self-awareness. And if you just give yourself a chance, you can heal that relationship. And it might be challenging in the beginning. It might be when you know, you've blown up a million times, but if you could just handle yourself one time in front, your wife will notice something. There's something changed about you. And that will make such a difference in the impact of her life and your life and your relationship. Not only that, um, divorce is a very expensive thing. So you might wanna get a hold of that anger before it costs you not just your relationships, but a lot of money, <laughs> if I can be frank with you. So that's the session today. This is just anger and relationship and being able to control that and being able to drop it. And it can come from a female side or it can come from a male side. So, you know, really understand where you're at, love each other. Remember, this is your partner, man. This is the person that you're going through life with and there's still time and there's still hope.
So this is Sean Whitfield on anger and relationships. I look forward to connecting with you. If you're interested in any of my coaching uh, strategy sessions, please just sign up below. It's free of charge, it's a 30 to 45 minute session. And I wanna take the time to get to know you and understand you. There'll be some homework beforehand, so I take an in-depth look at where you're at. I look forward to connecting with you again, making an outstanding day, and own your space.